Are you in the club? Hey guys, this is Amy Jo, and today we're going to play with the Little People Dough Farm case. This little playset comes with two colors of dough, two dough refills, an activity book, a sculpting tool, a play mat, and four molds. Here's one of the molds, and I think that it is a little pig. <laughs> we also have a piece of fence, some white dough and some black dough, some red dough and some yellow dough. And see on the top of this, we have some little stampers. We have one that is a little boy and one that's a horse. We also have a sculpting tool and an activity book. This will be fun. It looks like we can create lots of different things. And there is a play mat. But we're going to have to figure out a way to flatten this out. Maybe we can sit it under something heavy. Let's start by making this little horse out of our activity book. It looks like we're going to need some brown Play-Doh. And strangely, we don't have any brown with the kit. We have black, white, red, and yellow. So I can get some brown Play-Doh and we can make the body of the horse. And then we can use the yellow and red to make the mane and tail. And I'm not sure what this is called, the part that goes around the horse's mouth. Maybe the brindle. I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to try to figure that out. Okay, I have some brown Play-Doh and we're going to be using this as our guide. So this is what we're going to work on first right here. It's just making these pieces. So we need one part for the body, we need four legs, and then the head. And then we're gonna, it's gonna look kind of rough right now, but then we're gonna put it all together and make it look just like a horse. <laughs> or maybe kind of like a horse. I finished up with the horse um, part, so we have the head and the four legs, and I just kind of shaped them and got some of the little cracks out of them. There's still one right here, but I think it'll be okay. And next we're gonna use the yellow dough that came with the kit to make the mane and tail. Now I've never used this brand of dough before, but it smells really good. It smells like baby powder. And the texture is a little different than regular Play-Doh. I'm not sure how to describe it. I would say it's a little more dry. It feels really good. The texture is good. It's just a little different. Okay, we're gonna take the yellow and we're just going to roll the Play-Doh between our fingers like this to make little pieces that are going to be hair. <laughs> and this will be the tail and mane for our horsey. Kind of looks like a bunch of pieces of noodles, like little pieces of spaghetti. <laughs> After you finish the mane and tail, you can use a little red piece. And this is actually not called a brindle. <laughs> and I think what I was thinking was the word bridle. Um, I don't know a lot about horses, obviously, but I think this is actually called the nose lead. And then we're just gonna use a little bit of black to make two eyes. And we'll just do that by making two little round pieces of Play-Doh. Or actually, this, is the, this isn't the Play-Doh. This is the dough that came with the kit. Now we have all of our pieces made so we can put our little horse together. <laughs> okay, here we go. Detach his head to his body. Hmm, this is going to be kind of tricky. I don't know, he looks kind of like a dinosaur. <laughs> Maybe I'll do his legs first. Okay, that went pretty well. We'll try this again. <laughs> it still kind of looks like a dinosaur. I might have to add a little bit of Play-Doh to him to get him looking like a horse. Oh no! <laughs> Let me show you something that I'm doing. I am mushing it all together and it seems to be working. It's all staying together now. My horse definitely doesn't look like a horse. His legs are way too short. 
but they're really short in the little activity book too if you look here so I'm going to add more play-doh to make it look more like a horse okay I had to do a lot of smoothing but I think he looks a little more like a horse I had to add some play-doh and kind of press out all of the wrinkles or the creases but I think we've got it and we can start adding the mane and the tail now so let's do that all right so here is our little guy so far and I forgot to make his ears can you believe that so I need to make two little ears and then we just have to add our eyes and our little nose guide. His eyes are a little large. <laughs> I might have made them too big. Okay, this is the last step. <laughs> I guess that dried out a little bit. We'll start all over and try that again. There we go. He's not exactly like the one in the activity book, but I think he turned out pretty cute. <laughs> I wonder what is inside this green square. Oh, look on the bottom. It's a little stamper and it looks like it's a bird. I wonder if this opens. Nope. Oh, okay. So the picture on the front, I think, is the animal that's on the back. Let's look at the blue one. Hmm. It's a kitty cat. And it looks like a kitty cat on the back. Do you know what this shape is called? This is a hexagon. That's a fun word to say. Can you guys say that? Hexagon. So we have a green square, a blue hexagon, and a yellow circle. We have a mouse on the yellow circle and a mouse stamper on the other side. Let's use the red dough to try the stampers. Hmm, <laughs> that didn't work very well. I think we need thicker dough. There's the little kitty cat. Now let's make this little chicken. So I think this is a hen. And you guys, look at this. This red Play-Doh is turning my fingers all red, so. If any of you moms are watching, you're going to want to make sure that you don't have this Play-Doh on any furniture, unless it's washable. Ooh, that one turned out really well. Now let's make the little mouse. Ooh, that one turned out the best. <laughs> We got better as we went along, didn't we? Aw, this little mouse is cute. Okay, I went and washed all of the red off my fingers so it wouldn't mix with the Play-Doh. Now we'll use the yellow. But I was thinking when I was washing it off that we could mix some of this Play-Doh together so I could show you how colors mix and how you can create new colors with primary colors. So after we play with the other molds, we can do that. All right, so we have a little pig and we have some yellow dough and this is the dough that came with the kit, just like the red. I'm gonna press this in here and see how this little piggy turns out. If <laughs> we can get it out. Come on, little piggy. There we go. Aw, look how cute. If only we had some pink dough, we could make a little pink pig. Would you like to see how to make pink dough? 
Now you should probably ask an adult first before you do this, but I'll show you. Here's some white dough, and we're gonna take a little bit of red and mix the red and the white together. See what's happening? Ta-da! <laughs> we made pink dough. Now let's see if we can make a pink pig. And there is our little pink pig. <laughs> and here is a closer look at them. Which one do you guys like better? I like the pink one. Now we're gonna use the black Play-Doh to make a fence for our horse. So let's mix this up. Ooh, this is really dry and crumbly. We'll see how it works. I'm trying to pull away some of the dough so that I can get it out of the mold. There we go. Okay, here's our little fence. That actually turned out really cute. And now let's put our little fence back by our horse. There, now you can't go anywhere. You could actually make a lot of pieces of fence and several different animals and you'd have a cool little farm. Let's set the pigs up here too. See if they'll sit up. I used the rest of the black Play-Doh to make one more piece of fence. And I was thinking that we could use some of the yellow Play-Doh to make some hay. I'm gonna take the yellow Play-Doh and shape it into rectangles to look like bales of hay. I don't know if pigs like hay, but I know that horses do. I moved our hay bales to the back and look at that, our horse is already eating. <laughs> I almost forgot to show you guys how to do the color mixing part. So again, you're gonna wanna ask a parent if this is okay. So let me show you just a couple. So if we add red and yellow together, what do you guys think red and yellow will make? Dun, 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 dun. I'll show you. Hmm, our yellow's not so bright, so it's not working as well, but red and yellow make orange. I added more yellow and took away some of the red, so we'll see what happens. There, now it's looking more orange. So we have red, and we have yellow, and together they make an orange color. Now what do you think would happen if we added white to this? A little bit of white and a little bit of this orangey color. White makes everything lighter. See? That's kind of a pink color, isn't it? Okay guys, that's about it. I just have the white and yellow and all that's going to do is turn the yellow into really light yellow. So I hope you have fun with color mixing. You can mix lots of different colors together. White will always make whatever color lighter. And if you add black, it will always make it darker. Have fun. Okay, guys, hope that you enjoyed our video. And if you did, you can click on the like button to let us know. And make sure that you leave me a comment and tell me what you think we should name our horse. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DC, DC. We do toy reviews. DC, DC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>